So it's the 30th of April 2015. I'm Scott Matheson. I work for SEPA in Conservation Policy at our head office in Stirling. And I've just popped out at lunchtime to make a little film about our local biodiversity. We work on the Castle Business Park in Stirling, which was built in the mid 90s. So all the habitats I'm looking at just now have formed, have been created since then. It's spring here obviously and we have a fantastic display around the business park's pond of marsh marigolds, uh, also called king cup, or if you want the scientific name it's Calpha palustris. It's a really beautiful, beautiful plant and this year we have a particularly good display. If I swing round here, this is the, the business park pond and there's a pair of swans nesting at the end, so there's a, one sitting on the nest about centre of picture now and there's um, her mate feeding around the edge of the pond. So the first couple of years this pond was built it was completely filled with water boatmen, little insects that swim um, vigorously in the water. Within a couple of years the population of the pond, the community of the pond was dominated by sticklebacks and it seems to have settled down to a mixture. Um, of invertebrates and fish now and we occasionally have herons here, we have uh, seen kingfishers feeding in here. If I look down at the water just now there's um, a massive root system which is uh, bog bean and iris, flag iris, yellow flag and I'm standing on water mint here, I can smell mint all around me, it's really lovely. And down here is a little spotted leaves next to my bag of an orchid. That's just emerging. So there's lots happening around here. This kind of swampy vegetation is probably full of overfly larvae and when I come back here in a few weeks time once it's warmed up a little, it's quite chilly today with snow in the hills behind me, we'll probably see uh, huge numbers of hoverflies. There are a few around me just now starting to emerge and buzz around but I'll make another film before the end of May and We'll have a look and see what's here. I can see some white butterflies as well at the moment, so things are starting to warm up and come to life. 